Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to create the Pure Arrow tooltip using HTML and CSS. Have a look at this demo, which we are going to achieve at the end of this video. We're going to create a responsive tooltip in this video and when we resize the browser width below the 1000 pixels, we can see the horizontal tooltip turning into the vertical tooltip. Let's get started by writing the HTML structure. First, consider the development with a class wrapper. And within that consider four developments with common class btn. Let's open the HTML structure in the browser. See the plain text without CSS stylings. Now let's get started with CSS by including its link in the head section of the HTML document. In this video, I am going to use Ubuntu Google Font Family and I will reset the default margin and padding of all HTML elements by setting its value to 0 pixel. Give the background color to a body and set the Ubuntu Font Family. Now let's style the wrapper div element, in such a way that, it always lies at the center of the browser. And set the wrapper div element's width to 682 pixels. And now style the all for btn developments by setting its width, height and float them to left. Now set the two pixels border around div elements and give the 10 pixels border radius. Change the text color, use the text align property, to horizontally place the text in the center of the div elements. Make them to uppercase and bold. Use the line height property for placing the text vertically in the center of the developments. Set the margin right value of all developments to 35 pixels except last development. Finally set the position value to a relative so that we can place its child div elements accordingly. Now let's go back to our HTML file. Within the btn div elements, consider the span elements with two different classes. in which one class is common for all span elements and other class being different. The different class is used to create the pointer and to position the tooltip accordingly.
tier span elements are the children of the BTN developments. Now style the common class. By setting its position value to absolute, top and left values to zero. Give 100% width and 44 pixels of the height to the tooltip. Set the background color to the tooltip. Change the color of the text. Use the line height property for placing the text vertically in the center of the developments. Make it bold and uppercase. Set font size of text to 10 pixels. Give 10 pixels of the border radius. Use the transition property for the smooth transition effects between the elements. By using the different classes, position the tooltips accordingly. Here I'm using top and left properties for placing the tooltips. Do not forget to subscribe my channel. Use the before pseudo element for creating the pointer or the arrow for the tooltips. First, create the arrow to the left tooltip. Here I use the border left, border right, border top and border bottom properties to achieve the arrow shape.
and by using top, left, right and bottom properties, we have to place the arrows accordingly. Now for right tooltip and so on. With the help of before and after pseudo elements, we can insert the content before and after the elements without changing the actual HTML structure. Now hide the tooltips by setting its opacity value to 0. Whenever we hover over the BTN developments, make the tooltips visible. Write the code for the responsive tooltip. Which changes the horizontal tooltip to vertical tooltip. Whenever we resize the browser window below to 1000 pixels, the width of wrapper development changes to 140 pixels from 682 pixels. Thank you for your attention, I hope you enjoyed the video, so don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ask me anything in the comments section, see you in another video.